Uh, heavyweight champion of the world for 800. In 1990, this man here knocked out Buster Douglas to become the undefeated, undisputed heavyweight champ. That's Evander Holyfield. Uh, I'll take B-Girls for 1,000. This Empress of the Blues performed with Benny Goodman and Louis Armstrong, among others. That's Bessie Smith. I will take the Metropolitan Opera for 2000. In 2021, the Met premiered its first opera by a black composer. This jazz trumpeter five months younger than Wynton Marsalis. It's a tough one. Terence Blanchard. Corey's 1600. Corey Hawkins played Dr. Dre in this hip hop biopic. Ooh, good movie, straight out of Compton. Also on the Monopoly board for 800. Morgan Freeman's first regular TV gig. Oh, PBS kids remember The Electric Company. Oh. <laughs> Found in Voyage Bit for 2000. Frank Sinatra covered this emotional Duke Ellington composition in 1955. It's called Mood Indigo. The final Jeopardy wagers are in. The category is Music Men, and this is the clue. Before creating this record label in 1959, its founder worked on a Lincoln Mercury assembly line. 30 seconds, players. Good luck. His response, what is eight mile? You got the right city, maybe not the right era, though. You wagered nothing, so you still have $4,900. Isaac Applebaum was in second place with 6,700. His response, what is Motown? That's right, short for Motortown, because Barry Gordy was from Detroit. So you're gonna add to that. 3101, you now have 9,801. But Leah Wiegand had the lead with 7,600. Did she know it was Motown? She's correct. And was the wager big enough? 5,000 will do it. $12,600.